Hello my friends on YouTube. Today is Sunday the 24th of July 2022 and today's video I am planning on um, preparing a video of uh, how Muhammad the founder of Islamic the Islamic faith or religion or ideology died uh, I received emails and for uh, for obvious reasons uh, many people don't want to be targets so they send email and they mention don't put my name okay we respect that and uh, however this will uh, take a while and the reason is because one also one person was uh, asking if um, if there's hadith or something indicates that uh, Muhammad was killed uh, the killer normally will not confess of his murder however um, like when a detective uh, when a person is murdered normally the detective try to put try to find the strings that it, it gets him to who the killer is who is the person or the family or the group of people who is benefiting from the death of that person and he follows until he gets the, con the concrete conclusion this is the killer as I mentioned before about 73% of Muslims are Sunni Muslim Sunni and about 23% of Muslim uh, are Muslim Shiat for me I, I don't care they are both the same if you follow the same ideology you're Muslim so the Muslim Shiat are the ones who believe he Muhammad was murdered and myself coming from an Islamic background in Egypt which is I don't know the percentage but it is primarily Muslim Sunni now it used to be Shia by the way but now it's a Muslim Sunni so uh, normally these books they don't want people to read so I have to dig and find out wh who because the digging will be with the Shia because they are the ones who uh, said that and I have to follow their leads to get and it actually I, I look not in depth I look to what they are saying it actually make more it makes more sense than what the Sunni even the percentage of Muslim of Sunni is higher than that of Shia and I'm not saying the, the I'm not supporting Muslim Sunni or Muslim Shia I'm just stating the fact that Shia are correct on that subject that the founder of the, the, the teaching of the Islamic ideology was murdered okay today's video is downfall with the ruling of Al-Azhar Al-Azhar is the most prominent Islamic uh, college or university and it has like the top authority to speak on behalf of Islam let's say there is an important subject in, in the Catholic faith and uh, they need a, a clear word whether uh, let's say for example now it's a uh, hot issue uh, abortion whether abortion is legitimate for Catholic to practice or it's not because <clears throat> according to many people some say yes it is okay because it's not uh, a formed human being until certain length of time in the womb some people say no 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 once is conception once conception happen it's a life it's a human being it's just a small so the, the when a split like this happening the Pope has to look into it carefully and come with the word 
whether this is right or wrong abortion is right or wrong and I'm not saying follow the Pope or not to follow the Pope that's your choice however I think in in the Far East I'm not sure in China but I know in Korea that's Korea North and South Korea I know once a, a baby is born is considered one year old already and the reason is they respect that life at the moment of conception so you are a person at the time of conception and you are just in your mother's womb because she cannot survive without the protection of the mother's womb until nine months later and then when you come out when you are born the mother takes care of you protects you in the outside environment until you are able to stand on your own as a man or a woman so just to put this in whether you believe in abortion or not is none of my business but the I'm giving the example that the Pope has the final word for those who, fa who, who for those who follow the Catholic faith, and consequently, Al Azhar. Similar, similarly, Al Azhar has to give that final word of what's right, what's wrong, in the Islamic teaching. Now, the problem here is this entity; they are calling for its downfall. And as I spoke last time, each country has certain culture and the usage of word, it reflects certain feeling in the heart of people. So when they say downfall with Al-Azhar, if I go back with that phrase to 2011, when President Mubarak was removed from the office, and practically al Gaddafi, uh, Ali in Yemen and uh, most of the Islamic countries are ruled by military rules most okay so this is because they follow the teaching that came to us 1400 years ago that the religious authority and the sword okay the religious authority gives the command and the military apply if you change your religion you will be killed if you don't pray you will be killed if you don't fast do the fasting of Ramadan you will be killed so the religious authority gives the command and the gangsters or the military follow today is very much the same so most Muslim countries are ruled by dictators like that and they tell them what to say so this Al-Azhar was actually built about a thousand years ago so that this entity will be the tool that the Sultan or the King or the President will use to justify whatever he wants to do so when we go to 2011 when President Mubarak was removed, he was a military leader. And Egypt was ruled practically by military since 1952. It used to be a kingdom and we had a king. And since the military took over in 1952, it's practically run by dictators by the military and the military the president the military president will tell this institute al-azhar university to justify whatever whatever and they will come out with some fabricated ideas that we follow the ruler of he is in place of god on earth and people used to follow that nonsense however at the time of removal of 
Mubarak and Gaddafi in Libya and uh, in Tunisia. It started actually with Tunisia. Then the, the, that can they call it Ar the Arab Spring. It started in Tunisia, moved to Libya. Uh, I'm sorry, moved to Egypt, to, to to Yemen, to Tunisia, and there is fear that it it's boiling again. And at this time, see because. The Muslim cannot really call for the removal of the leader directly because it can be a bloodbath. So what they used to say, and now also in, in Sudan, they are saying the same, downfall of the military rulers because they know they're oppressive they use the sword to tell you what to do or they will kill you and this practice been used for 1400 years so instead of saying this authority that it is like the, the total control that 50 percent in the hand of the president or the king and 50% in the hand of the military and they are working together and the president to justify whatever he wants he goes to the religious authority and tell them okay I need this done find some ways to get the people rally behind me and accept it as a command from God and practically that is the history of, of the Muslim people for 1400 years everything is done this way the Sultan or the Caliphate or the guy on top the first guy who came 1400 years ago but it was actually worse back then because he had it, it was not divided he was the ruler of the state man like the king or the ruler or the head of the Islamic State and he also had the authority of God because God will tell him okay you can marry this woman you can do this he had everything well at least now it's divided for between two parties the all the, the military and the religious authority so we can say they are both gangsters really oppressing people and they used to say uh, downfall with the military rules that very same phrase is used today in Egypt in Sudan in many countries but they say downfall with Al-Azhar which represent Islam worldwide and the, what started actually people are so angry with this institute and I predict that it will disappear soon and the reason is it used to receive a lot of fund from Saudi Arabia and all the Gulf countries to spread whatever poison they wanted to spread any venom it used to come from there now after September 11 20, uh, 20, uh, 2001 uh, that changed and the reason here is Western countries primarily America primarily the United States of America went there and told them because the, the CIA and the FBI and the American the American leaders they know that there are two faces to this institute they come out with uh, we are friends who are very good with each other we, you are people of the book you believe in the Bible you believe in the Torah we, no problem we respect that very much you are respected uh, in our book and then in their teaching like kids used to uh, learn uh, two hand grenades plus two hand grenades equal four hand grenades to blow up the infidels the American infidels or the Jewish infidels or whatever so at 20, 
2001, after the incident of September 11th, they told them that that cannot continue. That cannot continue. So they stopped. Furthermore, you have the leader of Saudi Arabia now, or the prime minister, the the crown prince of Saudi Arabia. I really, in my opinion, I I he didn't make that like as a statement. I believe he doesn't believe in that nonsense. However, like many other Saudis, especially the educated Saudis, they don't believe in that nonsense. However, they cannot really say it out loud because they can lose their heads. Their family will be a target. So they just leave this nonsense and they live their life. And the, in my opinion, the crown prince does not believe in the. I mean, anyone, all the Muslim leaders, all the Muslim leaders in Islamic countries don't believe in that. However, they can't say it out loud because they will lose their position. So they be quiet and they work together with Al-Azhar and get things done. But because now Saudi Arabia practically cracked down on the Muslim Brotherhood and on that violent teaching and they put down, they controlled them on only those who are, who are willing to repeat repeat what the king the current prince says now these are the ones that are allowed to speak it is wrong because you should be free freely expressing your opinion but when you have majority are ignorant of the fact that this is brainwashing stuff maybe it's best because they don't know what's really what freedom is and how to apply it to their lives so it's better to instead of control having that venom venomous ideology controlling them at least a more enlightened man like the current prince is controlling them and step by step probably they will gain their freedom uh, soon and this ideology now it's on its way out so you can see now that um, I'm bringing this up because in Iran it started with women pushing for uh, women's right to drive and they used the, the Muslim leaders from Al-Azhar used to come up with all kinds of dumb stuff one of them was oh no 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 women should not drive and the reason is when women drive the way she is sitting in the car that scientists and doctors found out found out they don't tell you which doctor or which dentist that her egg will be affected and she will not conceive when she gets married she will never conceive that's uh, proven science prove it's proven but they don't tell you which science scientist uh, which institute made this study no and people in the far east in the west in europe everywhere most women in these countries if not all drive do they still have children yes they do so this is nonsense and when it came to a point that it's the nonsense they had to give in oh it's okay it's okay women can drive now in Iran for example many people are taking I'm going to put this in the description box many ladies taking this hijab one of them I'm going to put her picture on the video she took it off and she saw it and she stepped on it and kept walking she many of them now they are rebelling against this nonsense and practically they are saying if a man cannot control himself because he sees my hair that's not really my problem and reverse that let's say a handsome man wearing a pair of shorts and just a t-shirt and he's walking on the street and the woman she sees him and she gets excited is that really his problem no control yourself okay but it is known since 1400 years ago I spoke about that before 
uh, when that the founder saw a woman a Muslim woman covered passing in front of him while he is with his followers he saw her he couldn't control himself he went inside the, his house asked his wife to get naked did what he had to do and he came out to his friends telling them woman or women come in an image of Satan and leave in an image of Satan this because he couldn't wait he couldn't control himself that was his problem and today mo most men don't know that this is the case it's just okay let's follow what the, the religion says but the religion says this because the founder was out of control sexually and today those who advocate for that it's either they just won't follow blindly or they too are out of control sexually they see a woman and they cannot uh, the, the, the brain goes berserk so uh, this is happening in Iran people are saying enough to this nonsense and the the as we see also in the Iran because it's majority the majority of Iran is Shiite they are saying enough to that nonsense and the Sunni countries saying downfall of Al-Azhar and when you say the downfall of Al-Azhar you are using the same phrase the downfall with the military and that practically saying downfall of Islam that what it, if you know the culture this what they are saying enough we thank you very much we hope to hear from you